Welcome back. You're live with me, Samantha Simmons. The oil and gas giant Shell has posted record profits, the highest annual figures in the British firm's history. The company reported adjusted earnings of $39.9 billion. That's just over £32 billion for 2022. Energy firms have been making record profits after oil and gas prices jumped following the invasion of Ukraine. But it's also caused a rise in energy bills, which has helped push UK inflation to a 40-year high. Shell announced earlier in the week it would pay a windfall tax in the UK on its vast global profits. Well, let's put all of that into context now. Here's our business editor, Simon Jack. This is not just the most money that Shell has ever made in its 115-year history. By my estimations, it's the biggest cut, uh, profit ever recorded by a UK-based company. Wow. Uh, $40 billion, £32 billion. And as you say, it, we've had rocketing oil and gas prices. They've started to come down a bit here, but this is 2022's numbers. And we already had higher oil and gas prices as the world emerged from its sort of COVID-induced coma and the demand came back. And then they were rocketing when you had Russia invade Ukraine and things like Russian oil and gas supplies were either shut off or shunned by international buyers, making the market, you know, people there was a lot of demand for what was left so that's the um, that's the the context for this i doubt they will beat that next year because as i say profits are, are coming down but there is as you say we've got inflation at a 40 year high people's energy bills have um, doubled trebled in some cases and so there is a kind of understandable outrage in some quarters that they think that Shell should be paying much more tax. Now, weirdly, if four of the last five years, Shell has paid zero tax in the UK for two reasons. One is that they are, one is 95% of their money comes from outside the UK. It's made and taxed elsewhere, places like the Gulf of Mexico, Indonesia, Brazil, etc. So only a tiny bit comes from the UK. And they're allowed to offset investments they make in oil and gas projects here. They're allowed to offset decommissioning old oil rigs against those profits. So they end up with no profit at all and not paying any tax. They will pay some tax this year in 2022. And I expect them to pay hundreds of millions of UK tax next year. But the numbers will look small compared to the vast profits. And people will be concerned about that. Simon Jack there.